welcome on learning with L and R and today we are going to discuss about the new procedure that is baby bath. The introduction of baby bath, child rearing practice during the first year vary from country to country. The amount of bathing is done is also inconsistent across cultures. Unless contraindicated, most infants and children can be bathed in a basin at the bedside or on the bed or in a standard bathtub located on the unit, which is often con conveniently adapted for pediatric use. It is uh, depends on the culture and according to the routine of the family, the bath is given to the baby, according to the ritual of the people, according to the society. Definition Baby bath is defined as cleaning the skin of the baby for promoting hygiene and comfort in the home setting. Then the main objectives behind it to keep the baby's skin clean, to refresh the baby, to stimulate the circulation, to prevent any skin infection, to closely observe the body for evidence of any abnormalities and to note infant's growth and development and to induce sleep. Then assessment of the skin before the bath. But whatever but we but we have to check before the bath the color of the skin, moisture, temperature, texture, turgor, vascularity, edema, and pruritus. Then rashes, lesions, arrhythmia, infection, inflammation, and heritism. Types of bath, lab bath. What happened in this? Bathing the baby, keeping on the lap. Here, the mother sits on the stool and can sponge and change his dress on her lap itself. So, there is no need of having additional stool, right? Then, sponge bath. Bathing the child in bed by the nurse, by the health professional. Then, tub bath. This is the common method of giving bath to the baby and in this, the baby feel comfortable. General instructions for giving bath use warm room and warm water, bath quickly and gently, dry quickly and gently, never leave the baby unattended in a bathtub or table because there is a danger if we, we, we leave alone to the baby. The infant is given bath after the cord falls and a black curse is well healed within 7th to 10th days of the life of baby. The ideal time for bathing a baby is before the second feeding, taking care that the baby is not tired or hungry. Baby should not be bathed within an hour. He is fed because moving may cause vomit. There should be a fixed time of for bath which will help the baby to form a habit on an orderly schedule. Then, the newborn's temperature regulating system is underdeveloped, so measure the temperature of water to avoid overheating or chillness. The normal temperature of the water is 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. The clothing should be selected based on the environment and weather. The soap used should be mild or without hexachlorophene base and avoid using teflon powders because it contains zinc, citrate, which irritates the respiratory tract. Then the article required for the procedure for the bath, hot water, tepid water, buckets, two buckets, one mug, mild soap, hair oil, four swab sticks and cotton balls, including also K-basin, thermo, thermometer, clean clothes, betadine, normal saline, low stool and apron too. Preliminary assessment of the child and situation, identify the child and check doctor's order for any specific instruction about bathing the baby. Get further instructions from the ward sister, assess the gender condition of the baby and need for the bathing and find out from the mother whether the child had his feeding within the previous one hour or not. Then decide the type of bath to be given and find out the proper place for the same. Check the articles in the unit and collect the individual soap and towel from the mother if possible. Then preparation of the environment and equipment. How we prepare the environment? Close windows to keep off draught and to prevent privacy. Collect all the articles in readiness before beginning the procedure. Keep the table against the wall. Place the tub or basin on one end of the table and the the tray with articles on the other end conveniently so that the baby will be protected on three sides and there is less chance of the baby rolling on the table. Then place McIntosh and towel over the table, wash hands and wear apron, see whether the baby is 
uh, is with urine or motion if so clean the bath bring the baby wrapped in the towel to the bath table nursing action and rational in the bath baby bath procedure explain the procedure to the mother and encourage her to participate the rational behind mother the anxiety of the mother should be reduced and we have to win the confidence of the mother and mother should be cooperated with us during the procedure then pour water into the tub and adjust temperature by checking with the elbow or dorsal side of the palm what is the rational behind prevents chances of hypothermia and scalding prevent the chances of hypothermia and scalding right nursing action undress the baby to make ready for bath and place the head of the baby on your non dominant palm and support the body with the forearm for the safeguards the baby from slipping then close ears with the thumb and middle finger of the non dominant hand to prevent from the entry of the water wipe the eyes from the inner canthus to outer canthus with cotton swabs it prevents entry of debris and microorganisms into the lacrimal gland dip hand in water and wipe face taking care that no water goes into the mouth of infant follows the principle less contaminated to most contaminated area wet hair and apply soap and shampoo gently wash the scalp rinse with water and dry hair with towel and drying immediately prevent from hyperthermia uh, hypothermia sorry place the baby into the tub with shoulders neck and head supported by the non dominant hand and the trunk and legs in water to start washing trunk then wet the baby neck chest hands abdomen legs and perineum for cleaning back and buttocks transfer the baby to the other hand in such a way that neck and chest are supported over the palm by holding the baby securely then apply soap concentrating on skin folds and rinse with the water prevent skin irritation spread the towel over the flat surface place the baby on it and dry for better convenience then with the swab stick swab the inner and outer circle of pore to prevent a bacterial infection dress the baby and cover in the blanket or towel to prevent from hypothermia contraindication of baby bath there is a various kind of contraindication too Uh, it may cause hypothermia convulsions bronchopneumonia congenital cyanotic heart disease now if the child suffering from the congenital cyanotic heart disease then the baby bath should be avoided fresh burns critical illness premature infants after care wash and replace the articles in the, in the proper place record the type of bath any abnormal findings on the skin with date and time hand over the baby to the mother for feeding before discharge demonstrates it to the mother so that she can bath her infant at home too the conclusion bathing provides a opportunity to the nurse to identify any developmental peculiarities and superficial skin infection which should be brought the notice of physician thank you very much i hope you have clear with this if you feel any kind of problem kindly convey me